Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So for today, we're going to do first impressions slash a review sa isang specific product na gusto gusto ko na talaga ang itry. Ito yung Elf Poreless Putty Primer. Ayan. Sobrang nire-rave to dito sa US ngayon kasi napakamura niya. This one cost $8 plus tax siguro mong around $9.25. And if you're going to do the math to convert it sa Philippine Peso, mga around less than $500 siya. Madami nagsasabi na dupe daw to dun sa Datacha Silk Canvas which is eto. Meron din ako nito, brand new to, but I haven't tried this yet. So, bala ko sana gawan nga to ng half and half na review, pero I want to try this on its own, as well as eto. So, we'll see. Siguro, after kung gawan ng review to, eto yung gagawan ko susunod. Tapos, comparison. Eto kasi guys, sa YouTube community, ang dami yun na makikita ng nag-review. But for this, isang Filipina skin, or let's say Asian skin, si Ate Mimi pa lang yung nakita kong gumawa ng review video about this. So let's talk about the packaging. Nung nareceive ko to, may bubble wrap to, in-order ko pala to sa Ulta Beauty sa online. So parehas lang sila ng presyo ni Elf Cosmetics na $8. Back to back, ganyan ang itsura niya. Nandito sa front yung Elf cosmetics na brand and then meron ditong malaking open space tas makikita nyo doon yung cap ng product. Tas dito naman sa likod nakalagay yung claims niya, yung directions tsaka yung ingredients. Tapos nakalagay din dito kung hanggang kailan lang siya kapag na-open niyo yung product. So ang sabi dito no animal testing which is cruelty free si Elf Cosmetics and 6 months lang siya prior opening the product. So, ang claim niya dito, this perfecting putty primer smooths the skin and preps it with squalane to help moisturize and grip makeup for all day wear. The velvety texture glides over the skin, smoothing over imperfections for a poreless effect. Ang direction niya is, apply a thin, even amount to moisturize skin prior to makeup application. Allow to set for 30 seconds before applying foundation. And yung ingredients niya... Wala akong alam sa mga ingredients, kaya skip na lang natin. Ang naiintindihan ko lang dito is si Aqua. I like the packaging kasi medyo nagiging classy na siya. If you're wondering kasi si Elf, um, drugstore makeup siya and mabibili niya siya sa Ulta, sa Target. Ano ba mong nakikater? Mga TJ Maxx, meron silang paunti-unting uh, product doon. New arrivals, yung mga new releases nila product. Mabibili niyo lang talaga siya doon sa dalawang website. So if I'm going to open this, ayan... Teka. May pag-ganyang effect pa siya, oh. Tapos, ganyan ang itsura niya, guys, in front. Ito naman yung itsura sa likod. Sa packaging pa rin, plastic both sides. Yung cap, tsaka yung mismong container. So, hindi ko pala nasabi kung gano'ng kadami to. Yung net weight niya is 0.74 ounce or 21 grams. You just need to twist the cap para mabuksan niya siya and then if you're going to smell it wala siyang amoy at all so i have already prepped my face nag moisturizer na ako so i'm just going to get a spatula siguro mga ganitong amount hindi ko alam kung madami to tansya tansya ayan so i'm just going to spread it ayan hindi ko alam kung madami to yan ang itsura niya kapag nabawasan na I'm going to use my fingers and then first impressions, medyo tacky. Ka moisturizing. Hindi kasi masyado din visible yung pores ko guys, so hindi ko masasabi kung poreless ba talaga siya. Pero yun nga, tacky chaka moisturizing. Tingnan natin. Hindi ko pa naman nabiblend dito sa kabila. Pero we'll see kung ano yung difference na. Nag-i-try dito sa nose area. Dito sa right side of my face, nablend ko na siya using my fingers. Um, medyo tacky siya, tsaka moisturizing. Hindi ko masasabi kung na-blur niya yung pores ko kasi hindi naman ganun ka-visible yung pores ko sa mukha. But, maganda yung effect niya kasi may dewy finish siya, tsaka yun nga, velvety. Pero ayaw ko lang, nung biniblend ko siya, medyo napupul niya yung skin ko. So parang may pagkataging. Yun lang, yun lang yung comment ko. Medyo na-brighten up din yung complexion ko dito sa right side of my face. So ngayon, yung blend ko naman tong left side. 
And apply ko na yung primer. Um, sabi nila, hintayin daw ng 30 seconds na mag-dry. So, ayan guys, tapos na ako mag-apply ng primer. Ang gagawin ko na is tatapusin ko na muna yung makeup ko. Pero from time to time, mag-check in tayo. So, for the foundation na gagamitin ko is si L'Oreal Paris Infallible. Up to 24 hour fresh wear and I'm in the shade of 445. Sa pagkakaalam ko, magkaiba yung numbering ng shades dito sa US at sa Philippines. Itong sponge na gamit ko is si Elf. Napaka ganda nitong sponge na to. Sobrang lambot niya as in. Tapos, ang bilis niya pang linisin. And what I like about this is that this is only $4. Blending the foundation sa aking face na may primer. Okay naman, wala akong naging problem. Walang patchy-patchy. So, ayan, I'm done applying the foundation. What I'm going to do next is to apply my concealer. This is what I'm going to use. The Maybelline New Instant Age Rewind Eraser. So, this is in the shade of neutralizer. The struggle is really kapag nagmamadali ka. Ayaw mabuksan! The struggle is really kapag nagmamadali ka talaga. Hello! Bakit neutralizer yung ginagamit ko, guys? Kasi ay na-discover ko na yung neutralizer na shade dun sa Instant H Rewind. Talagang nakaka-brighten up siya ng dark circles. And I have panda eyes. So, sobrang dark niya sa personal. Kaya, bet na bet ko tong concealer na to. To set my entire face, I'm going to use this Coty Air Spun. This is in the shade of Naturally Neutral. Magbibake ako saglit na saglit lang. going to do my eyebrows off cam, then I'll be right back. Bronzer, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Too Match Lumi Bronzer, yung favorite ko. Of course, the nose, kailangan din maglagay. Bronzer na lang yung gagamitin ko guys para magkaroon lang ng onting shadow yung aking eyes. <laughs> Itong blush on pala na gagamitin ko, this is from L'Oreal Paris Paradise Enchanted, yung peach, yung scent. This is in the shade of 191 Fantastico. For the highlight, I'm going to use this Maybelline Master Chrome by Face Studio, yung metallic highlighter nila. This is in the shade of 050 Molten Rose Gold. Guys, hindi ko naman pakita sa inyo kasi nagmamadali na kami. Dahil, paalis na kami at hindi pa ang nakapag-ready. Baka maliit kami dun sa party. guys, yung naglalagay ko ng ating highlighter dito. If you have visible pores, huwag yung gagawin yun kasi lalong ma-enhance. I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply this Total Temptation na Waterproof Mascara by Maybelline. 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 And this is in the shade of black lang ata to. Basta yung waterproof yan. Alain, dito sila. Pakita kayo sa camera. Lali. Hi! Oh, nakasimangot! Hindi <laughs> ka na yun nakilala. <laughs> Ganon, anak. Di mo na ako agad nakilala. Huwag <laughs> na matingin sa'yo, oh. Itong lip 
liner na ginagamit ko is from Wet n Wild. This is the gel lip liner. Then for the lipstick, I'm going to use this L'Oreal Color Rich lipstick, and this is in the shade of 802 or Matte Stir Piece. Matte Stir Piece. Then last is to spray my entire face with a Continuous Setting Mist by Morphe. And guys, I'm done with my makeup. And it's already 9.44. Later, pagkatapos ko na lang kayo i-update dito sa aking makeup and dito sa Elf Poreless Potty Primer kung okay pa yung kanyang performance. Dun ko na lang sasabihin sa inyo lahat ng final thoughts ko. So, see you later guys! Hi guys! It's already 11 ng umaga. So, ito na yung makeup ko. 2 hours na yung nakalipas. Kaya pa naman ako napapansing pagbubago. Okay pa naman siya. Mukha pa namang fresh. Okay pa yung makeup ko. Diyan pa yung blush on. Tapos nag-retouch pala ako ng ano, eyes. Naglagay ako ng false eyelashes. Hi guys, just to give you an update, it's already 3.08 ng hapon and the skin ko right now with the primer and the makeup on top, okay siya, hindi dry, hindi din oily, somewhere in between. Tapos dito yung laugh lines ko, usually dyan, nakikrease siya. Pag ang gamit kong mga um, primer is like yung touch and soul, yun guys, nakikrease yun dito. And even yung Maybelline na uh, primer, yung moisturizing, yung may color blue, nagkikrease din yun. Pero maganda yung performance on the rest of my face. But the poreless spotty primer ng Elf, okay siya. Hindi siya masyadong halata. Hindi din oily yung aking noo and even dito sa nose area. Hindi din dry yung part na nandito. I will give you an update a little bit later uli. Pauwi na kami. So, siguro mga another 3 hours yun. So, nakabalik na kami ng bahay. It's already 6.18. Time check. Ayan. Galing kaming San Francisco and medyo mainit kanina yung weather parang mga around 70s ata. Hindi ko lang sure pero medyo pinagpapawisin ako hanggang ngayon kasi um, nag-aalaga ako ng bata. Medyo may activity ako. Ang mukha ko pag pinapawisin ako usually dito sa area na to, sa nose area at dito sa upper lip area. That's it. Okay pa yung makeup ko. Yung laugh line ko lang usually yung problem ko at dito sa sides ng nose kasi uh, meron akong mga maliliit dyan na parang whitehead. So Sobrang small lang naman nun, pero minsan may tend na mapapansin nyo siya kapag at the end of the day na nasuot ko yung makeup. So far, so good. Yung face ko, usually naman, napapansin ko, uh, oil up lang is this part. Um, tapos dito, onting-onti lang. Pero okay pa rin. Yung laugh line ko, yan usually ako nagbe-base. Tsaka dito sa cheek area, yung blush on. Yung in-apply kong blush on kininang umaga, medyo light lang yun. And, meron pa rin. Meron pa rin blush on. Makikita nyo naman sa video. Ayan. nag appear pa naman siya sa camera. So, ayan guys. Sobrang lapit ko na talaga sa camera. And if you're going to see, ayan na yung itsura ng face ko. So, yung laugh line na sinasabi ko is this part. Usually, dito yan. Ganyan kahaba. Pero parang dito lang yung na-accentuate ng aking foundation. So, feeling ko okay naman. At kung makikita nyo yung areas ng aking face, hindi siya ganun ka-oily. At walang patches sa foundation. Yung aking contour and blush, okay pa rin siya. For my final thoughts for this Elf Poreless Potty Primer, may recommend ko to sa inyo guys. Um, this is for only $8. I think nasabi ko na to kanina dun sa uh, first clips ng aking video. And for 21 grams, okay na rin siya. The only thing that I don't like here is the way that you're going to dispense the product. And for... Uh, the quality sa packaging, okay naman siya. Plastic, usually plastic naman talaga ang kinikater ng ELF para sa packaging. And buka naman siyang elegante. Tsaka very small. I have a big hand. Hindi na din masama for $9 itong ELF Poreless Putty Primer. Sa presyo niya, sa halaga niya, okay na yung performance para sa akin. And kung makikita niyo naman, sobrang ayos ng aking makeup. Walang hulas and kapit na kapit talaga yung makeup ko. 
Kung meron kayong means para makakuha at makabili nitong Elf Poreless Potty Primer, get it guys. Nag-work siya sa akin. So that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope may natutunan kayo. And if you do like this video, you can click the thumbs up button. If you want to get notified with my future uploads, kung beauty video ba yun or vlog yun, you can click the subscribe and the bell button para ma-notify kayo. So again, thank you so much for watching guys. God bless and I will see you on my next videos. Bye!